All right, we are now live uh, with this session in our series of informative webinars with the SECP Innovation Office. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, this session is going to be on how you can uh, on leverage share financing. Uh, the main objective of this session with the SECP Innovation Office is to help you understand leverage share financing products, such as margin trading system, margin financing, and Marhaba share financing. Uh, we'll be covering a whole bunch of very interesting areas, such as the products and their features, uh, the flow of leverage transactions, collateralization of securities, settlements of transaction. And the session is being led by uh, one of our favorite um, guests, uh, here at the NIC, we have uh, Hafiz Wahidi, who has uh, been uh, very pivotal in sharing so much information from the SECP with our startups and our startup community. He has been with the SECP for more than a decade and has been engaged in the development of the capital market in terms of its policy, regulation, risk, and surveillance management. He also has a lot of experience in regulating affairs of non-banking uh, financing and Islamic financial institutions. So, with no further ado, I would like to welcome uh, Hafiz Bahidi Saab to take us forward with the session. Sir, thank you so much for joining. Um, uh, over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Nomad, uh, for the introduction. Uh, welcome to all on this webinar on leverage share financing. Uh, First, before moving forward, uh, this is a disclaimer that this webinar is only uh, to create awareness and education about the subject, and it is not uh, uh, for the purpose to invite or solicit investment in capital market. So, uh, your investment decisions based uh, on your analysis and risk uh, uh, analysis, and any decision uh, you will take, uh, you have taken, uh, rest with the investor and should be taken with due care. And the view expressed uh, uh, are those of the present, that's me, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the SECP or its employees. So uh, let's start uh, the uh, webinar uh, from the uh, first. <clears throat> I would like to explain the uh, regulatory framework under which the leverage share financing uh, mechanism is being uh, uh, performed uh, by the uh, market participants, by the uh, exchange, and the investors. So, the primarily the uh, securities leverage market and pledging rules 2001 are in place through which the uh, complete leverage uh, share financing product is being regulated. Another uh, set of regulation that is NCCPL regulation, that is National Clearing Company of Pakistan Limited Regulations. It has complete uh, framework about the uh, products, leverage products, uh, covering the uh, features, modalities, uh, securitization, clearing settlement, and risk management as well. Uh, there are uh, currently uh, the four products which are in place in the market, and investors can take benefit of these products. Uh, first is MTS, that is margin trading system. Uh, second is MFS, margin financing system. Third one is Muraba share financing, uh, that is Sharia compliant uh, share financing uh, leverage product. And the fourth one is securities leverage and securities lending and borrowing, that is SLP. So uh, we'll discuss uh, these products one by one in detail before moving forward. Uh, for the understanding of uh, uh, the participant, uh, this is uh, the basically uh, process of uh, trading, uh, executing in the exchange, clearing and settlement, and finally the custody of uh, shares in the central depository. So first one is PSX, that is Pakistan Stock Exchange, that is exchange. Uh, first investor open an account with a series broker and uh, execute trades in the exchange. The exchange and brokers provide the terminal through which they uh, execute trades uh, to buy uh, certain shares, say, an investor wants to buy uh, the shares of OGDCL, MCB, HBL, or any other company uh, from the uh, stock exchange through its broker. 
after the execution of the trade uh, uh, Sorry to interrupt Bajit sir uh, are you sharing your screen because we don't see any slides okay aap agar dobara se dekh le can i share the screen haan ji now we see the slides sorry ho sakta hai kuch glitch ho thank you thank you so much So, uh, as earlier uh, discussed, these are uh, four products: MTS, MFS, Murava Share Finance, and Securities Lending and Borrowing. Uh, the next slide is uh, Trading, Clearing, Settlement, and Depository. First one I have discussed that is Security Exchange. After execution of the trades uh, during the day, uh, after completion of the trade, basically PSX com uh, complete the data, trading data, and forward it to the NCCPL for clearing and settlement. Uh, on the same day, NCCPL, that is National Clearing Company, performs clearing and settlement function on T plus two basis. It basically performs the uh, identify the uh, uh, money obligations and delivery obligations. Money obligations in terms of if uh, an investor bought some shares, so he has to give money and uh, take delivery. And the, on the other side, if if a person sell the shares, so he has to give delivery to the Uh, buyer so national clearing performs these functions uh, there is a pay and collect mechanism uh, installed at the uh, clearing house uh, this shows that once you pay uh, the price of a share which you bought then you get the delivery of that share so this is the uh, pay and pay and collect mechanism uh, after the uh, receipt of complete uh, uh, financial obligations from the broker Uh, the shares shall be moved. Uh, instructions shall be moved to the CDC that uh, CDC uh, transfers the shares from Mr. A account to B account. So uh, once the one investor bought the shares on 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 the say on Monday, so his shares shall be uh, transferred to his account on Wednesday. That is uh, T plus two basis trade plus two days. Two days is for clearing and settlement purpose. And CDC perform the function primarily the custody of shares. Movement of securities upon confirmation from NCCPL, and the third one is custodian of units of mutual funds. So uh, this is basically uh, the core uh, uh, function of uh, these uh, companies and the trades executed in the stock exchange. So before uh, moving in details of the uh, products, uh, this is the uh, common practice uh, for. Uh, the leverage transaction once an investor uh, who uh, wants to buy a share uh, and he has uh, uh, less liquidity uh, so they need money uh, uh, they need borrow money from the from uh, from from the broker or from the financial institution or from the system uh, that is provided by ncpl so the, after ex sorry after execution of the transaction say Uh, I must uh, explain an example uh, through which uh, uh, the participants can understand. Uh, if an individual wants to buy a share of OJD, so say one thousand shares wants to buy, and he has uh, amount, he has only amount of twenty five percent in his pocket. So, and seventy five percent he wants to uh, get finance. So, after the uh, broker allow him to execute the trade and buy the shares of OJD with the said twenty five percent of the amount. And the rest of the amount uh, shall be arranged through these leveraged products: margin trading system, margin financing, or Murava Share Finance, that is Share Compliant. So, after the execution of the trade, what happened? Uh, so, these are the uh, checks, pre-checks of initiation and affirmation, as per the FPR, that is Financing Participation Ratio. I have said that 25% is the equity and 75% is debt. The margin shall be deposited by the respective financier, that is broker. Availability of net purchases from the ready market. So these financing uh, shall be availed on the net purchase uh, trades of the from the ready market. Say I have bought shares uh, during the day. Uh, OJCL. I'll uh, say I have bought one thousand shares of OJCL and sold out five hundred shares. Then I bought one thousand shares. So that balance comes to fifteen hundred shares. So I can uh, uh, take facility on fifteen hundred shares. So the, the, uh, there should be net market net purchase of the uh, ready market based on that 
the leverage financing should be obtained. Uh, some other points, position limits. There are some position limits on market-wide, member-wide, and client-wide position limits are in place. Uh, for the purpose of risk management, we will discuss later on. Uh, capital advocacy. Not every broker is allowed to uh, provide financing to its clients. Uh, it has to have a uh, certain uh, minimum capital requirement, uh, which are prescribed in the regulations. And exposure is restricted up to 5% of the free float of eligible security. One cannot <clears throat> accumulate uh, the free float of the of any script uh, beyond 5%. So this is basically to control the concentration in the uh, set script. Uh, after the initiation of the trade, after the execution of the trade, say I bought shares of uh, 1500 shares of OGC, then I initiate the transaction towards the financier. So NCCPL systems facilitate me uh, to initiate the transaction. So financy may initiate leverage transaction fully or partially. I can uh, fully take leverage uh, on the 1500 shares bought already bought uh, of OGDC or partially I can uh, partially finance shares. Say I have funds of uh, for 500 shares and the rest of 1000 shares I want to have a leverage facility. So based on my risk appetite and based on my liquidity, uh, I will arrange the uh, financing uh, through these products. Upon initiation of the uh, transaction, uh, once I initiate the transaction, the financier have the system. It will uh, uh, see the uh, that some investor have initiated the financing transaction and it will basically affirm the transaction that, yes, I will give the uh, rest of the amount to finances uh, trade. So 25% paid by the investor and 75% paid by the uh, financier. Upon such affirmation, the financial obligations shift from the investor to financier. So, uh, and thereafter, uh, the uh, uh, transaction shall be uh, carried on. It's just like that once a person wants to have financing to buy, purchase a car, so it paid a 25% down payment and rest of the amount financed by the bank or financial institution. So. Um, the next facility is for three years or five years. Just so like that. Uh, in this process, once uh, an investor wants to buy a shares, it will give it will contribute a certain type of equity, and the rest of the amount uh, contributed by the financier. So the product starts from margin trading system. Uh, margin trading refers to the purchase of security in ready market by equity participation. I have already uh, discussed. Uh, financing are available on predefined ready market purchase term that's delivered by to be executed. Say uh, there is a system key, a system facilitate that which shares uh, on which through which product do you want to buy a share on leverage. On leverage means to take finance uh, from a financial institution or broker. So margin trading is done on undisclosed manner through a platform uh, as an authorized intermediary to financee and financiers. Basically, uh, the margin trading is executed on the uh, system. So uh, once an investor uh, place a trade in the uh, trading system, you cannot uh, view the other party who is selling the shares. So likewise, once you uh, execute the trade for financing, you cannot view the financier that who is the financier. Maybe there is Habib Bank, MCB, or there is a broker, or there's a high net worth individual, nobody knows. So this is undisclosed manner. Your uh, transaction shall be executed with the best available uh, lender uh, <clears throat> financier. So that will be executed by and NCCPL is looking after the, uh, uh, the whole mechanism uh, of uh, equity participation and the uh, profit ratio. The empty facility is made available only in eligible securities. Not all the scripts are eligible for uh, margin trading because of its riskiness, because nobody knows who is the investor and who is the financier. So NCCP has to uh, secure uh, its, 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 its this financing activity. So there are certain scripts, be, uh, the criteria which we'll discuss in later on uh, uh, announced by the NCCP. Markup rate, maximum markup rate is MDS market is Kybor plus 8%. The normally today's Kybor is 14% plus maximum is 8%. Uh, 
a broker or financial institution can charge. Financing participation ratio, as I already discussed, is 25%, ratio is 75%, 25% minimum equity participation have to have by the investor and 75% from the financier. Uh, maximum duration in MTS contract is 60 calendar days. Uh, however, roller option is available. So uh, another feature in the margin trading system that once a contract is executed, after every 15th calendar day, 25% of such contracts shall be automatically released if not released by the investor. Uh, because uh, of the riskiness of the product, the system uh, basically allows the investor uh, to uh, roll over the contract or to finish the contract or the system automatically release the contract at the price whichever is prevailing in the market. Uh, yeah, um, basically, it, it reduces the uh, uh, open interest in the market, uh, which creates the risk or bubble in the market. So, all trading financiers are required to open separate margin trading block account. Uh, if an investor wants to uh, buy a shares, the, those shares shall be placed in the financier's blocked account. It cannot sold out. It cannot use uh, those shares for its own purpose. It cannot use uh, such shares for pledging or uh, 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 for any other purpose. So the same shares should be placed in the blocked account and uh, uh, released as and when investor uh, pays the uh, finance amount to the financier or default. Uh, such, or, or in default cases, such shares shall be released. There are only two cases. Only eligible securities will be eligible to apply to principal for admission as trading financiers. Uh, this, uh, there are certain entities like banks, uh, brokerage houses, investment companies, uh, DFIs, or any other company which the NCCPL and Commission SCCP allows to act as a financier. Uh, <clears throat> NCCPL uh, disseminates the key statistics on its website, top 15 margin financiers and top 15 margin financiers, uh, along with their uh, script-wise total amount. Uh, that uh, that shows that how many individuals and people are taking exposure uh, through which uh, uh, leverage activity is being performed. This is the criteria based on which the eligible securities are selected. A uh, bit uh, difficult, uh, but I uh, narrate it for the uh, sake of understanding. The basic criteria is out of total uh, securities, 200 securities selected based on 50% weight on average daily free float and 50% weight on uh, to average daily turnover during the last six months. This is the basic criteria. After selection of 200 top securities, the impact cost, uh, uh, if and, and, and this shows this basically shows the liquidity of the script. So uh, it, it's uh, calculated uh, by the NCCPL. <clears throat> Uh, if a step has impact cost of 1%, uh, the category A uh, security shall be selected. And if the impact cost is less than 2%, the category B security shall be selected. And beyond 2% impact cost, the securities will not be uh, selected as uh, eligible security. But turnover, certain criteria is, is prescribed. Public float, that is free float, basically. Uh, more than 35% of the issued capital are 60 million shares. And get for the category B, 25% of the issued capital are 40 million shares. Trading history, at least 90% of the trading days during last six months, uh, the shares should have been traded in 90% of the trading days. That step shows that it has some liquidity uh, to be traded in the market. Because uh, what is the purpose of this? Purpose of this is whenever any default occurs, so NCCPL has the um, uh, option to offload it in the market easily. Uh, listing history, uh, earlier than six months and earlier than three years, auditor's opinion don't have negative or qualified opinion. Uh, investigation, uh, no investigation be pending are concluded with adverse finding of the mismanagement by the SECP or any law enforcement agency. Uh, the script should not be on the defaulter segment. Uh, interim review as per prevalent uh, regulations after every 45 days, the list
Hello, everyone. Uh, it appears um, there have been a slight uh, malfunction in the internet. Just give us a few minutes and we will have, uh, we'll be right back. If anyone has any questions, be sure to share them in the uh, Q&A section. This is a section dedicated for the questions. And uh, as soon as uh, we're done with the session, we will uh, take your questions at the end. So this is a good chance to share your sessions while we're waiting for uh, Hafiz Wajid uh, Wahidi Saab to join us again. Apologies, everyone. Let me uh, call uh, Wahid Saab again. He is trying his best to join Wahidi Saab. Let me just call him again. Otherwise, we can either postpone the session or I can have the slide shared with everyone who is joined in today. And any questions you have, I can share them with uh, Hafiz Saab and uh, we can get the answers to you.
welcome back sir sir sorry connectivity issues ah uh, yes aaj thoda ho raha hai ye uh, shayad power outage ki wajah se yes yes they're happening aaj kafi power outages ho rahe hain thank you everyone in the attendees for your patience and uh, we're back uh, online with the session so over to you uh, wahidi sir thank you sir yes we were just uh, we are discussing uh, the risk management uh, as i already discussed that uh, certain minimum uh, capital equity requirements uh, for taking its four year uh, on financier as well as on financee uh, collection of margins uh, concentration margins liquidity margins and mark to market margins uh, should be collected by the financier margin shall be paid in the form of cash bank guarantee or margin eligible securities where the mtm losses are collected in the form of cash only on daily basis uh once the transaction is executed initiated and approved by the financier uh the shares shall be moved uh from uh a seller account to a uh, financier's account in the block form and thereafter uh, the price of the shares may be uh, if an investor wants to uh retain those shares for the maybe for next 10 days or 15 days so on the daily basis the price fluctuates of the set step so if the price goes down uh the differential of the price uh, uh down uh, shall be uh, contributed by the uh, financee and if the price goes up then it will benefit to the financier so normally the leverage uh, product is beneficial uh, when the market becomes bullish are increasing on uh, in, uh, have increasing trend uh, but in the down uh, when the market is going down uh, these products will uh, not be suitable for the uh, normal investors so uh, and these are the i'll discuss the mark to market uh, losses mark to market means if a price share uh, of the shares is 100 rupee and it goes down to the 95 rupee that 5 rupee is mark to market that Uh, your margin should be should be equal to the uh, the price of the script so 5% have been eroded so financier has to pay 5% as mark to market losses to the financier uh default management in case of non payment of mtm loss on the daily basis shall be collected by the financier nccpl suspends such ui and ui means unique identification number that is uh, cnic number of an investor it will be uh, suspended for taking position in all markets if a person fails to provide mark market losses its uin shall be suspended to take further position in the market and since it shall perform this function open position shall be disposed of in the square up market square up market means uh, when a financier uh, informed nccbl that the mark market and losses have not been deposited by the financier uh, his open position those shares which have been bought on leverage shall be disposed of in the market uh, empty contract or defaulted ui shall be closed and uin will be restricted for taking new position in all markets for the next period of 6 months initially for the 6 months the uh, uin shall be closed and uh, in the second time is uin may be blocked for the period of 3 years these are default management of uh, margin trading system primarily uh, it is uh mainly two three points one is uh bought on leverage um uh, on in undisclosed manner uh, shares will be blocked with the financier and uh, uh mark to market on daily basis and uh, in case of non payment of mark to market or pre payment of the leverage amount uh the financier shall be disposed of such shares uh after informing nccpl so this is the margin trading system now comes to the margin financing system the primary primary difference between mts and mfs is mts is undisclosed manner uh, trades executed in the market that financier and financee uh, don't know each other whereas in margin financing uh, financee knows who is the financier and what are the terms and conditions so uh, margin financing is also uh, governed under uh, securities liberty market and treaty rules uh it is also available for uh, available to all brokers financial institutions banks against net ready market purchase on the same platform this product 
will work. Empty market finance securities are not part of the margin finance finance securities. Uh, if an investor availed facility on 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 the shares of say OGTCL, this on the said shares margin financing cannot be availed. Margin financing facility cannot be availed. So uh, both the facilities are different and should be availed on different steps. Uh, financing as per uh, agreed financing participation ratio, uh, there is the same participation distributed to 25% or 75%. It may increase uh, depending on the financier. If a financier wants that, I need 30% equity participation, I need 40% equity participation, and I will um, give you 60% of the financing. So it depends on the uh, financier and financier arrangement. Uh, this is only available in margin financing product, where the, in margin trading, there is no uh, they cannot be uh, bargained with each other. Oh yes, wh whichever is uh, lowest uh, uh, interest rate, uh, the margin trading shall be executed. NCCPL provides system to facilitate margin financing for recording and settlement of MF transaction through its NCSS, that is National Clearing Settlement System. All MF transactions will be based on counterparty risk. Yes, financier knows who is the financier, who is taking the risk. So um, evaluate. Uh, the finance, uh, the uh, financing capacity, uh, uh, the financial capacity of the financing, and thereafter it will uh, lend the uh, financing against yours. Mark to market and market rate will be managed by the margin financing participants outside the system. Yes, uh, this is the eligibility criteria that I already discussed. That margin and that brokers can extend financing. Uh, and margin financier must have 20 million net capital balance. A banking company, a company corporation institution under section 3A of the banking only ordinance, that is PFI, an investment finance company licensed by SEC, which has been allocated minimum management rating of AM3 minus, and any other entity admitted by NCC board and approved by CP are eligible to extend finance uh, to its investors. Margin financing eligible securities. In MTS, there are certain criteria based on which the certain margin eligible securities are selected. Whereas in margin financing eligibility securities, all book entry securities, all securities which have been traded in the stock exchange are eligible for margin financing because counterparty risk is there. So financier will uh, evaluate uh, the uh, capacity of the investor as well as the liquidity of the script. Based on that, it will extend finance. Any book entry security should not be on defaulters now. Yeah, defaulter counter segment uh, securities do not be included as margin label, margin financing eligible securities. As uh, already discussed, that uh, financing and financing knows each other, so uh, there should be an agreement, uh, margin financing agreement executed between the participant uh, and the client as well uh, to extend finance. The process is same, which I have already discussed in the first slide, that uh, after execution of the trade in the stock exchange, uh, the process of initiation and affirmation, initiation by the investor, affirmation by the financier uh, is the same. And thereafter, uh, the financial obligations shift from the financier to financier. And financiers uh, uh, settle the obligation trades uh, upon settlement. So process of settlement is the same. Uh, whereas in the margin financing, the shares uh, moved from the uh, margin financier's account. So mark to market and other margins are shall be collected on uh, on the same pattern. However, margin trading uh, the, mar the margins collected on margin trading uh, shall be uh, uh, collected through NCCP, whereas the margin financing. The financiers shall directly collect margin from the financee. Uh, settlement slash release of margin financing transaction upon affirmation transaction by the counterparty financier. Such transactions are settled on balance order of interest. But the following are some ways to offload the holdings. There are three ways to offload the holdings. One is ready market sell. If a financee pay off uh, the complete financing amount, so it can sell the those shares in the market. And if <coughs> Financiers don't want to sell those shares, 
So it will directly uh, pay the amount to the financier and financier release those shares uh, to the financier account. And the third one is direct release by margin financier. In case of default uh, by the financier, uh, the margin financier uh, will offload those shares uh, to the market and, uh, and recover the financing amount uh, from the market. So uh, certain uh, limits are prescribed in the uh, financing product that market-wide, member-wide, client-wide, there are certain limits, exposure limits. Uh, client cannot take 10%, more than 10% of the total permissible exposure. Exposure in single script, uh, the client cannot, should not exceed 25% of the total exposure. exposure. Total permissible exposure, five times of FCB by the market participant and market market losses, financial collect, uh, market market losses from financing. Our default management, I already discussed uh, uh, because uh, margin financing is uh, basically in a disclosed manner, counterparty knows. Uh, so any default MF uh, shall be can in cancellation of the such contract and the scripts which bought on financing shall be disposed of in the market. So the third product uh, which I've covered in the securities leverage uh, and pledging rules is securities lending and borrowing. This is different product uh, uh, from the margin financing and margin trading. This is basically uh, the, uh, the purpose of uh, this transaction is to uh, uh, to take the benefit of uh, the uh, market in terms of uh, when the market is going down, uh, if any person wants to uh, short uh, security, so it will borrow the security, it will short the security, say in the morning at 10 o'clock uh, and the price of step is going down. So uh, <clears throat> for uh, settlement of that short, it will borrow the shares from the SLB system. That is security lending borrowing. There are certain uh, borrowers and lenders are in place. Lenders who are lent the securities and borrowers who need the security. So SLB is defined as temporary exchange of securities with an obligation to re-deliver the same securities in the same manner in the same number at an agreed premium on future date. The potential lenders and borrowers can be the brokers, bank companies, financial institutions, investment finance companies, insurance companies, and other persons approved by the SECPA. All potential lenders borrowers have to be clearing numbers of NCCPA. So why SLB transaction is executed in the system? The motivation for lenders. Lender means I have uh, ample securities uh, laying in my uh, uh, brokerage account or uh, CDC account and uh, earning uh, capital gain on annual basis. So the whole year uh, such securities are laying uh, in my account. So I want to use those securities to take the benefit uh, from the market. So uh, to earn income, a return on idle securities, I will lend the security to the person who, need, who wants to short uh, in the market. So uh, based on certain the return, um, Kyber plus 10%, 15%, whatever uh, market practices. So I will lend those securities. Uh, to utilize 100% amount of lent securities. If I want to lend security, uh, say I have uh, ample, uh, shares of Hapco uh, Limited uh, and I will lend the shares uh, to the person who wants to uh, read the short uh, or delivery default say it will pay me the uh, say 100 rupees say it will pay the 100 rupee against Hapco shares and I will that I will use that 100 rupee for uh, some other purpose I can uh, place in the bank account or place in income fund or I can place in the market to take their benefit of that 100 rupee. And the person who took uh, securities from me, it will uh, take the benefit from the market in terms of short or delivery default. The motivation for borrower is to avoid delivery default in ready market or future market and to borrow SLB security before affecting short scale. Uh, the criteria of eligible security, not all the securities are eligible to uh, for the security lending borrowing. 
uh, uh, there are certain criteria, criteria A and uh, category A and category B security. Category A securities are for short selling, last six months trading data uh, reviewed and based on that, uh, security has been traded at least 80 percent of the trading days will be selected as category a security its impact cost should not be a greater than two percent its average traded volume is not less than 0.5 or 100 thousand of shares whichever is lower and security should be in the book and economy should not be on the default discount such securities are categorized as a category a security and used for short selling category b securities all book entry securities are used uh, for the category B security and for delivery default. If a person wants, if a person uh, executed um, uh, uh, short in the market and uh, wants to uh, meet the delivery default, so it can borrow the shares from the SLB market. Uh, SLB market is also available uh, parallel to the regular market. And there is an automated system. Investor wants, if an investor wants to shares, uh, it will basically uh, connect with a broker. A broker will facilitate to lend or borrow securities from the system. Uh, maximum cap is above plus 18%, 15% per annum. Uh, but currently, uh, we have changed it. Uh, the maximum cap is changed into market and demand based premium. So Kaibo plus whatever, it may be Kaibo plus 1%, 2%, 10%, depending on the uh, need of the market, uh, competition in the market. Uh, it is carried out in an undisclosed manner. Uh, we call it system-based product. So nobody knows the, who is the who is the uh, uh, lender and who is the borrower of the such security. And civil systems will facilitate in that manner. So SLB contracts are available from 14 business days to 180 days. Uh, if I want to uh, short a seller's KFT if and uh, got the shares from SLB market, I can take it up to 180 days. I can take those shares up to 180 days. So, in case of earlier release, SLB contract by the borrower, the cost of lending shall be determined. Say, uh, I bought the uh, shares for short uh, for uh, one month, but uh, I want to, um, uh, I have arranged those shares from the market as cheaper rate and wants to uh, deliver those shares from to the lender to to pay back uh, the uh, to return the uh, securities so uh, the maximum premium which have been decided between the borrower and lender shall be uh, determined based on the uh, uh, period of the transaction system will facilitate in this regard uh, risk management, the borrower and lender required to pay war based exposure margin in terms of cash, margin eligible securities, bank guarantees, or tree repairs, whatever is available with the uh, borrower, it will pay as a collateral uh, to the lender. The market market losses are uh, uh, same as in the market margin financing or margin trading product, but it should be in the form of cash only. Concentration margin also applied. The aggregate exposure of broker claim numbers should not exceed net capital balance. Uh, these are uh, certain limits applied on the market wide, participant wide, and client wide. The detail of these risk management measures are uh, clearly explained in NCC regulations, and one can easily uh, uh, view uh, those regulations uh, if anybody wants uh, detailed uh, uh, analysis or wants to detail understanding. Uh, one can contact me. The clearing and settlement of SLB transaction. SLB transaction settles on T plus two uh, basis uh, the same. Once the transaction is executed on SLB system, it will be executed on T plus two on uh, basis. The lender is required to deliver lent securities and borrower is required to pay the total amount of borrowed securities. Lender will lend the securities, deliver the securities, and borrower uh, shall pay the certain amount to the lender. NCCPL will coordinate between the uh, lender and borrower. On the settlement date, uh, the SLB release transaction should be executed. The lender is required to pay 100% amount of lend securities after adjustment of premium and receive the lend security. The borrower is required to deliver the borrowed securities. However, uh, the security
Okay. Oh, yes, uh, clearing and settlement uh, of SLP transaction are the same. Uh, lender will uh, pay the 100% of amount to the borrower and borrower will uh, deliver the borrowed securities to the lender. However, the lender, uh, after adjusting the pre payment of premium and other interest or profit, whatever uh, is applicable, uh, should be deducted from that amount and uh, pay out the amount. <clears throat> so the transaction is uh, concluded between the borrower and lender. The fourth product uh, is Morabaha share financing, that is Sharia compliant leverage financing. Uh, it, it has been uh, recently launched uh, and currently around 2 billion rupees uh, Morabaha share financing. Have been extended by the financiers. Uh, concept of Muraba is that is uh, Islamic basically product. Uh, Muraba is primarily a sale transaction which is used to finance the purchase requirement of customer in a Sharia compliant manner. So uh, Muraba has certain requirements. A sale agree agreement uh, on deferred payment is to be executed, disclosing cost plus profit to the transaction. Morava contract cannot be rolled over as commodity issues once sold cannot be resold. Penalty may be charged on non payment of principal and profit. Upon early payment, financier may forego the excess profit to be charged from this one. <clears throat> so, this is the overview of uh, Morava share financing. Morava is primarily a sale transaction which is used to finance the purchase requirement, uh, provide the uh, alternate to the uh, investors uh, to uh, take leverage in a Sharia compliant manner. Uh, it involves purchase of required security by the financier. After a financier has completed the purchase of security, it is sold to the market on cost plus profit basis. Uh, go to the uh, process flow of the transaction, which, uh, which will facilitate the participant. Uh, this is the process flow. Uh, once the uh, Master Muraba agreement and agency agreement signed between the financier and financee, that is bank or customer. Basically, Muraba share finance is the replica of Mura margin financing. This is disclosed uh, transaction and uh, financier and financee knows each other. So the agreement is being an agreement between the financier, broker, and the client uh, can be executed uh, physically. Okay. Muraba share, Muraba, uh, MSF seller is financier and MSF buyer is financier. So MSF seller will buy shares through an exclusive key on the UIN of MSF buyer subject to fulfillment of pre-trade margins, financing participation ratio and security deposit. So if I want to uh, uh, buy a share, buy some shares of OGDC, uh, on Muraba share financing, and uh, my financier is say Mizan Bank is my financier. So Mizan Bank will buy shares using my uh, UIN number from my broker and bought shares of OJDC. On the trade date, initiation of MSF will be recorded by the MSF seller and MSF buyer. MSF system through initiation of permission. Such transaction shall be initiated by the buyer and upon by the financier. So the financial obligations shall be moved from the uh, financier to financier. So Midan Bank will settle the transaction on trade plus two basis. Say if a transaction is executed on Monday, the transaction will be settled on Wednesday. So Midan Bank will pay the uh, amount on Wednesday uh, to the NCCPL. So after the uh, MSF seller will pay total amount of ready market purchase to NCCP and these shares will be delivered in the house amount of MSF seller and block status. Such shares cannot be used. So the first transaction is executed that financier bought shares on my behalf, that is financier, investor behalf, and take the custody of those shares. After the settlement of trade, initial trade, the financier will then again 
execute a sale transaction say it it bought shares 100 rupee and its profit is um let's say 110 it it want uh, needs 10 rupees as profit so it will sell those shares to the investor uh against 110 rupees so msf transaction will be recorded in msf system and shares will be transferred uh from blocked account to cds block account of the buyer so now the shares are transferred because sale transaction is good on the system the shares from the mizan bank shift from the uh to investor account as collateral and it will be in the block status investor cannot offload those shares in the market it cannot be used as pledge it cannot be used as collateral so msf seller will maintain securities deposit directly with msf buyer msf seller will collect moraba amount so upon the uh, maturity date our investor wants to offload those shares investor pay off the amount uh, to the uh, moraba uh, share financier say mizan bank uh, and after the payment of those shares uh, it can offload those shares in the market there are three scenarios uh, one is uh, if an investor wants to retain uh, sell off those shares it can it will pay the amount to the financier and offload such shares in the market second scenario is if an investor wants to retain those shares it will pay the amount to the financier and financier will release the shares to the buyer and buyer will retain those shares in the market and the third one is in case of default investor do not pay the required amount uh, of murabah uh, such shares uh, will be offloaded by the financier in the market so uh, these three uh, 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 i uh, mechanisms have already been discussed in marketing financing ncp shall facilitate in uh, terms of blocking and release of such collateral to them as a buyer so the corporate and non entitlements and default management uh, as the moraba is executed uh, that once the shares bought by the financier so the custody and ownership of those shares lies with the financier so if a company say the shares bought uh, of the company ogdcl so ogdcl announced a dividend or bonus shares or right shares so it will go to the mizan bank the corporate entitlement lies with those who have the custody and ownership of such shares so we have uh, recently uh, made amendment uh, that such rights can be uh, vest with the msf buyer so msf seller can uh, uh, vest those uh, rights to the msf buyer and corporate entitlement should be directly credited to the buyer and uh, default in case of default management i have already discussed uh, that if if a, a financier uh, do not pay the required amount to the financier the financier will uh, uh, release those shares after an emission to the ncbl and offload those shares in the market to recover the mm-hmm. amount uh there are three participants uh financier financier and agent uh sometimes uh in a broker and agent uh, perform the same role uh in case the broker is acting as financier so and uh, what are the eligible what are the eligible securities in which the moraba share financing uh, should be extended securities included under psx kmi all share islamic index that constitutes around 400 shares uh, the shri advisors of uh, karachi stock exchange and uh, uh, in collaboration with the uh, uh, mizan bank uh, shri scholars uh, this karachi mizan index for islamic uh, securities have been established and available in the market uh, one can uh, choose such securities from this index and take moraba share financing from its broker or financier uh, <clears throat> from the market listed securities in book entry form and should not be on the default counter uh, book entry form means uh, digital form uh, eligible securities reviewed by annually uh, basis in this this uh, the islamic index securities are viewed on by annually basis uh, by the shri advisors and in case of new induction uh, securities inducted 
uh, by giving three days notice and in case of deletion security will be excluded by giving 60 days notice uh, no fresh exposure should be allowed during this period so this is the product uh leverage products uh they have been covered also spoke about public cameras thank you very much if you have any questions uh, wonderful uh, um, sir wonderful session thank you so much very uh, detailed insight uh, into the topic and i hope that our speakers have gained some value today um, in terms of questions uh, we have a question here uh, what about bank guarantee is it mandatory if it is then how can new startups go for leverage share financing oh yes bank guarantee is not necessary there are certain options uh, uh, such as cash margin eligible securities the list is available mm -hmm. on the national clearing website margin eligible securities you can if you have certain shares and uh, uh, available in margin eligible security you can you can uh, place those shares as collateral uh, you mm -hmm. can give tfcs you can give uh, income uh, units of income funds as collateral bank guarantee is not necessary that you should uh, place the bank guarantee you have multiple options mm -hmm. uh, there are a uh, <clears throat> number of uh, uh, investment products are available to deposit as collateral with nccpl mm -hmm. or financier Right, right. And if uh, Dr. Atta Ola, who is uh, the director of uh, the Business Incubation Center at NAMAL, uh, if you have any further questions, sir, maybe you can arrange a, uh, a more uh, close contact session uh, with the, the NAMAL University. So be sure to get in touch and then I can convey your sentiments over to uh, Wajid Vahidi Saab and the rest of his team. Uh, any more questions, uh, you're welcome to share them with me and I will pass them along to SECP. Uh, thank you everyone for joining today for this fantastic informative session. And thank you so much, uh, Wajid Vahidi Saab, uh, Vahidi Saab for being here with us today and uh, inshallah till the next time. Thank you, Ravel. Thank so you. Take care. Love thank this. You.